Yeah, welcome to HiFi Apps. My name is Johann Gauss. I'm physicist from Berlin. Uh, this is a short tutorial to the app I've written, HiFi Apps Speaker Setup. Motivation was that there are lots of excellent speakers out there, but they are placed in the room uh, in a way that they sound, no, say, not so really good. And the reason is that the interaction between room and speakers has to be taken in account. So it's possible to improve the sound of many systems by measuring and rearranging speakers and absorbers in a normal living room. So if you open the app, uh, you first get a dialog for the measurement. You have to connect the speakers with your Android system. And on the other hand, you need a microphone. The built-in microphone from most Android devices is good enough for the first step. Uh, if you go deeper, measurement microphone becomes sooner or later necessary. If you proceed here, you get a dialog about some general things about uh, speaker placement, a link to the HiFi apps page with some deeper text about this. I just go here to the main menu and start the measurement directly. First thing is you give the measurement a name. That's nothing very special. And second, uh, you see you have to give the right level, play a test signal and see if the level is OK. Next is your Android device is somehow connected to a uh, microphone and the speaker and if it's the right microphone the right speaker you don't have to do anything here but maybe you have several speakers uh, somehow connected bluetooth directly i don't know then you can and the default is not what you want then you can change it second you can use a microphone calibration file which you did load up before in the setup menu and Here's what I've told you can use the connections your Android device have. You will get something else. That's just what the vendor of those devices tells. And you have a bit an intuition to choose the right one. But anyway, you can always uh, type play and see, it's, uh, see if it's the right device. Uh, you also can change the output buffer size. Usually that's not necessary, but in some cases you have an external sound card or what, which doesn't run really smoothly and then maybe it helps to change this. On some very new Android devices here now in 2022, we have surround. So in fact, from my side as a programmer, it's supported, but in most cases, most devices won't support this. So if I select here the center channel, for example, it just plays on the right and left speaker in the same way to emulate the center. Um, but maybe in the next years or whatever, you are lucky and have one of those surround devices and need it. So we proceed here in normal stereo. Yeah, that's all from here. You can start the measurement. So you have to go to your first listening place and yeah. um, if you are a bit familiar to this, you can see the frequency response to have an overview if it's somehow successful or not. In this case, I'm measuring those, those very small desktop PC speakers which uh, end up here at 60 Hertz. So it's more or less what was to expect. And I can proceed to the next step uh, where I have to place the speaker where they are in reality. I just take here some coordinates. That's useful for you to have a memo which setup it was. And secondly, it calculates the floor bound. So some reflections between speaker, floor and listener Okay, so this measurement is finished. And usually I would go to my second listening place if I have make a second measurement. Proceed. 
proceed again and if it's not done automatically uh, place the microphone to the place where it is in reality and so on till I've done all listening places I'm interested. After that I can start a new measurement row. Mm. Best I show this. Um, So what I've done for this new measurement row is that I've rearranged somehow my room. So uh, to tell the app that I'm starting a new measurement row, I have to shift at least one speaker, at least one centimeter. So it compares the coordinates of the speaker. And if one speaker is moved somehow in this app, it sort of knows um, that the room is rearranged and at the end, there is a comparison between the first measurement row and the second measurement row. The outcome is to say, well, I had room arrangement first with listening place 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Room arrangement 2 with listening place 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Uh, which one is better for me? So in fact, you could move your speakers closer uh, to the wall or something and see if the sound changes and make a measurement and look after the difference. So now we have this, uh, say, new arrangement, say it's a new listening place as well. Take this and make a second. <coughs> Measurement for this arrangement too. Say, here's my fourth microphone place. Now I'm done. So I have two measurement lists which can be compared. Each of them has two listening places in this case. Okay, stop measurement view results. And you can see I have those two measurements a bit different in the quality because I had my arm between a speaker and microphone and changed the microphone a bit. So you can see the second variant is slightly better than the first one. But uh, usually you want to see why. And for that, you can look after the frequency response, the impulse response, or such a sound pressure map. I just show here uh, the frequency response. You can choose a target curve uh, to compare if you like to and look after the curves. You can look after the impulse response to see the reflections in your room like this and open this sort of sound pressure map. Uh, here now I've done four measurements. That's not enough for a sound pressure map. So usually you would make several measurements on several places and then you get for certain frequencies different sound pressure. So you can see how room modes, standing waves in the room are building up. It's, it's comparable as if you are in a bath tube and make waves and you have places where the waves are huge and places where the waves are quite small and uh, the listening place where the waves are huge in the bus range is not what you want then then you just hear simply only bus and this sounds more or less terrible so you can switch here to the room modes now i have found one in 46 hertz some here in 59 hertz and if you like to you can play them put here the play button and it goes to the loudspeakers walk around in the room and see if it's really standing waves it's somehow very very loud uh, on other places very soft and rearrange your room hopefully you get rid of those room modes yeah okay the lower part is hopefully self-explaining self-explaining um yeah that's the main thing I wanted to tell about the app. So thanks for listening and goodbye.